talking about the Mini Moog sound, the thing people will immediately think of if they're synthesizer players is the filter. And certainly the filter has a very distinctive sound and gives a very distinctive quality to the Mini Moog. But that's not the only part of the Mini Moog that has a unique, desirable sound. Also, the oscillators. The oscillators are a unique design. Usually within any synthesizer, the oscillators are designed a little bit different. The way that the oscillators in the Mini Moog were designed give it a certain rich, deep quality that here we'll demonstrate right now. Here is the triangle wave on the Mini Moog. It's a beautiful rich sound for something as simple as a triangle. A triangle sounds a lot like a sine wave, but with a few higher frequencies on top. But somehow the way that the Mini Moog creates this triangle wave gives it a certain desirable quality. It's a beautiful sound. And the same goes for the next waveform, which is unique to the Mini Moog. It's called the Sawtooth Triangular. It's like a triangle wave with a little bit more sawtooth on top. So you can hear more higher frequencies. So if you're hearing that sound, you're probably hearing a Mini Moog as it is a unique waveform to the Mini Moog. The Mini Moog Sawtooth does not disappoint. It's extremely buzzy, extremely bright and rich. Again, as sawtooths go, this one has kind of a deeper low end. It's, it's a fat waveform, even without uh, going to the filter yet. And the square wave is the same apart from being a different waveform. There's a reason why the Mini Moog is known for its great bass sounds, and that's not the filter. It Well, the filter certainly helps, but the waveforms themselves have a weight to them. And then the medium pulse wave. A sort of richer square wave sound, although it's not square. And then the pulse wave is nasal like pulse waves usually are, but again, still has that fatness to it. And we can add to that once we're out of the oscillator section and move into the mixer section, the way that the mixer works in the mini Moog, when you get around eight, uh, and between 8 and 10, not only does the volume of the oscillator get louder, but there's a certain richness that is added, a certain saturation as it's mildly overdriven. So then when we mix waveforms together, get a very rich Mini Moog oscillator sound. And this is one of the reasons that the Mini Moog is so desirable, the richness of the oscillators. 